how y'all doing today? Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker. I am going to be your host today. And I want to welcome you all. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And today's topic is eat my pussy. All right. So I'm going to give y'all a chance to get logged in for you to start liking and sharing. So you can start inviting everybody to the show today. But again, today's topic is eat my pussy. Y'all know one thing. It is, y'all, if you got a, I, if you got a motherfucker that really know how to eat your pussy the way you like to get your pussy ate, I just want you to hit them little likes and them little hearts. Let me know you see me. Let me know you hear me. Let me know you feel me. You feel where I'm coming from. Because it's hard to find a motherfucker that can just really eat your pussy. So, and I ain't talking about a motherfucker get down there and just lick it the way. I'm talking about a motherfucker that go in and eat your pussy. I just need to see some of the likes, some of the hearts, some of the thumbs up, something. Let me know. Let me know you see what you, let me know where you feel where I'm coming from. Instagram, YouTube, let me know because I know how hard it is to find a motherfucker that can really eat your pussy. Because let me tell you something, you know, when I met my husband, he ain't eat pussy. Like, oh, but I knew he was going to eat my pussy because I told him. I was like, oh, you going to eat this pussy. <laughs> Before it's over, you going to eat this pussy. And, and I want to talk to you about it because it's one thing when a motherfucker eating your pussy because they feel obligated to eat your pussy. But it's another thing when a motherfucker eat your pussy and they love eating your pussy. So, we're going to talk about that today because the topic today is eat my pussy. Now, I have all types of stuff up here, okay? All types of stuff up here. Because sometimes people need it to taste like something. They need to be tasty. They need all of this. Some people just like the way the natural pussy tastes. But we're going to talk about some different things that you can do. And, you know, I try not to make these shows, like, really long because I know some of y'all, like, on lunch breaks and stuff like that. But... We are here at the PPG store, 9789 Florida Boulevard, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 70815. Um, also online, www.thepppgstore.com. Um, Instagram, at only one PPG. So you got all my social media, Facebook, Sharonda Parker. You have all my social media handles. We got all of that out the way. So let's talk about eating some pussy. These are the edible pans. If you never saw what edible pans look like, and I know it kind of got a little glare on it, but this is what they look like, okay? You put these on, they come with a set of strings. Now let's talk about these strings. These strings are elastic, okay? So they can go from like a size extra small, because you can make them as small as you need them to, or these motherfuckers can stretch out to a four, five X, seriously. Seriously stretch out, I was a three X at one point in time, and I wore these motherfuckers, they still had room left over. So I know they can stretch out to a four, five X easy. That means that these panties literally fit all the way across the board, okay? If you look at it, there is a hole right there in the center. Then there's a hole at the top, hole at the top, another hole here. So you can actually create the thumb, okay? Now, when you wear these panties, you want your clit to be right here in the center. You want your clit right there in the center. That way, when he eating the panty, he could still stimulate you and eat the pussy at the same time. See, it don't make no sense for him to be eating his hand, getting full, and bitch, you ain't getting nothing out of it. You, he got to still be able to lick on that clip too and stimulate that clip because that's where we get all of our stimulation from, okay? So this is just one way that he can eat the pussy or she can eat the pussy or they can eat the pussy, whoever eating your pussy because some of y'all, you know, y'all dibble and dabble all over and I don't knock you. Do you, but this is the way that they can be able to go down there and eat the pussy. Now, let's talk about this. This is fairly new. This is called a Libya spreader. People say, what's a Libya? The Libya is those fat ass lips that you got. And some of y'all lips are so fat till they cover the clip, right? So what this is, is a Libya spreader. And I'm gonna open this up because I want you to really be able to see this. Because a lot of times people see this in the store and they like, I don't like, how do you use it? So let's talk about that. The Libya spreader. Okay. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Okay. You insert it inside of you. 
okay? You insert it inside of you. And when it's inside of you, these two little prongs right here, they're gonna actually hold your lips open. They actually spread the lips apart. So you know how motherfuckers when they eat your pussy and they take their fingers and they spread your, your lips apart so that they can get to the clip? That's what this does. You insert it in and it spreads your lips support so that they can get to the clip. So they don't have to do this sip part no more. Now they can use these hands to do some other shit, okay? So if the lips spread apart, some of the other shit that you can do, and you see this? You see how that opens up? And the packaging is intended to, to be held close together. So when it gets inside, it actually spreads out on its own. It has a little spring in it. So I'm going to slide that right there. Finger me. This is a finger vibrator. So now, because you know, sometimes that tongue, the tongue is a muscle. That muscle can get tight and it will cramp up on you, okay? So if he on there and he... And you just like, oh, 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 oh. And you all over the place and you squirm because he... Right? His tongue get tired, he get a cramp in, his tongue get exhausted. Now you got this little finger vibrator that way he can actually help himself. That means he can still stimulate you and give you that stimulation because this has a vibrate on the tip of it. And it's real small. It just goes on one finger. And now he can stimulate you and all at the same time to bring you to that level because some of us, it takes us a little longer to orgasm than others. Okay? Now let's talk about flavor because we, we can... We can we can make the pussy taste like anything we want it to taste like. We can make it taste like slow baked hazelnut souffle. Mm -hmm. We can make the pussy taste like banana foster. Mm -hmm. Oh, any kind of dessert, baby, we can make this motherfucker taste tasty. Anything you want it to taste like. Cream brulee mm -hmm. for you French motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bougie ones. Frosted cupcake. Mm hmm We can make the pussy taste like frosted cupcake. We can make it taste like whipped cream. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, all of that, baby. I, look, I ain't finished. We can make it taste like salted caramel. Mm-hmm. We can make the pussy taste like uh, apple pie fresh out the motherfucking oven like your grandmama used to make. Oh, yeah, oven baked apple pie. We can make it taste like that. Now, if you want to do some fruity shit, we can make it taste like watermelon. We can make it taste like fruit cocktail. Y'all know y'all like fruit cocktail. Let's see what else. Oh, we can make it taste like um, donuts. Mm -hmm. And then I like to save the best for last because I absolutely love the chocolate chip flavored lubricant because we can make the pussy taste like warm chocolate chip cookies, fresh out the oven, hot, warm, and everything. This shit actually tastes like warm cookies. When I say warm, meaning your mouth warm too because the pussy tastes like warm chocolate chip cookies out the oven. So, we can make the pussy taste like anything that we want it to taste like. We got all kind of other stuff. We got the, um, this is fairly new, Guilty Pleasures. Now, not only does it make the pussy taste good, but it gives a little arousal to it too. And this took the place of Crazy Girl. So all of my people who love Crazy Girl, this took the place of the Crazy Girl. Then the two toys that I want to recommend today is the Pretty Love by Lynn. This one is 30 speeds, okay? 30 speeds and it has little prongs to stimulate the clitoris. And then we have the Satisfy Her. Satisfy Her is guaranteed to make you come in 30 seconds or less. And this one actually blows a lot of wind on the pussy. It just literally blows hard. Like, so if you like a motherfucker to blow on your clit, this here blows on your clit for you, okay? So, I'm gonna invite you all again to shop at the PPG store. Again, my name is Sharonda Parker. Thank you for tuning in to Sex Talk with Sharonda. We still have room for the riding class. And one last thing that I want to tell you all, and I'm going to end this Instagram video, but I'm going to keep the live going on Facebook. I'm going to keep the live going on Facebook because I, I, want to, I want to express something to you all. One thing you have to do is remain teachable. And I forgot all about these here, but I, I've talked to y'all on Facebook about this. You have to remain teachable, okay? A lot of times you may think you know something,
But what you'll find out is you may think you know, but sometimes other people can come along and teach you from a different perspective, okay? In other words, yeah, you may know how to ride dick, but guess what? All dicks are not created equal. So the way you roll one dick, you got a whole new mind, baby. You got to learn how to ride that new, that, that, that new dick you got, okay? So you have to learn how to do things from a different perspective a lot of times. And you have to remain teachable. Because one thing that I know is everybody don't know everything, and you can learn something from everyone. All you have to do is remain teachable. Okay, so we do have room in the riding class this weekend. We still have lots of room left in the squirting class. Now, I have people that inbox me constantly about how to squirt, how to squirt, how to squirt. And I give them instructions, and they be like, okay, I, I still hadn't gotten it. Well, this is your opportunity to come to a hands-on class. I don't get it. Like, y'all will slide in my inbox for free all day long. But when it comes time for you to have to actually invest in your sex life, with getting knowledge, some of y'all move real slow. And I say that like the writing class that I did the last time, it was like 70 seats were sold. I had like 55 ladies to show up. I had like maybe 15, 17 people didn't show up according to my roster. But you have to be willing to invest in your, uh, in education. You have to be willing to invest in educating yourself, especially when it comes down to your sex life because that's what's gonna help your relationship. That's the core to your relationship. And I say the core because, yeah, it takes all types of other things to hold a relationship together, but bad sex is one thing that will definitely destroy. So what's $25 to spend on knowledge? You gonna have it for the rest of your life. You can even share this knowledge with your, uh, your the, the people in your family that come on behind you, your children and grandchildren. Yes, I said share the knowledge, because in other cultures, they actually share the knowledge. Our culture is the only one that does not like to share knowledge when it comes down to sex. But luckily for you, you have that here. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day.